Backing up your data on your Mac can be an important step to making sure you always have the files that you need for teaching and learning. We're going to show you how to back up your data to iCloud Drive, the best way to back up your Mac when you use a managed Apple ID. So let's get started. I'm going to start by going to my system settings and we're going to click on where my name is up here. You, if you have never signed in with your Apple ID before, I would say sign in with your Apple ID up here. But if you are on a Mac 13 or later, Mac OS 13 or later, it should look something like this. Here are the things you want to check. Are you signed in with the correct Apple ID? In this case, you note that my school district email is fully here. No version, no one-off, nothing with an at MP or some other version of that at A dot. Instead, it is my full email address. That's important. That's what we call a managed Apple ID, and that's what's going to give you the free storage you need to be able to back up your Mac to iCloud. From there, once you can see that I'm signed in properly here, we're going to go into my iCloud settings. When I look at my account storage, a telltale sign that I've signed into the right account is that it reads 200 gigabytes. As long as I have 200 gigabytes available, I know that I'm signed into the correct School District of Waukesha Managed Apple ID. Let's just take a look at my account storage here. So here you can see the things that are currently backed up. So I've got iCloud Photos, and if I don't want them anymore, I can turn off and delete from iCloud. I've got some backups happening here, but these are all of the types of data that are presently stored in my backups. What I want to check here is a few things. One, I want to optimize my Mac storage. This makes sure that I'm optimally putting my, my files in the right places and making my Mac as fast as possible. Another thing that I want to check is what is being backed up. I of course want to have my photos and videos backed up, and so I'm going to make sure that photos is turned on. I also want to make sure my passwords and keychain are backed up, so I want to turn that on as well. Now let's go into iCloud Drive. iCloud Drive is going to sync this Mac, so I'm going to go ahead and check that. And I really like it to back up anything that's on my desktop and anything that is in my folders file or my documents file here. It's going to convert my documents file into an iCloud documents drive once I click those two things. So you want to do that. From there, it'll be able to handle most of your backup without you having to worry about anything. But I am clicking on the app syncing to iCloud drive just to make sure the things that I use the most are backing up. For instance, I use explain everything all the time. I want to make sure that's backing up. I want GarageBand and iMovie to back up and so on. If there's something that you don't use or don't need, you can turn it off. But for the most part, I'd like to back all of these things up. It's going to go in and back up those files. If there's something you use all the time that is not showing up on this list, it means you'll want to separately back those files up somewhere else because they don't currently back up to iCloud Drive. Once we have that going, there's only one more step to make sure that it's working properly. When I click on my name, one of the things that you'll note is that from time to time, you'll get a little red icon with some sort of a message below your name here. You'll want to check on that. Sometimes you have to update your terms of service or user agreements with Apple ID. And so you'll click on that and it will require you to sign into your Apple ID again. That's just to make sure that you are signed in and it's properly backing up. And once you've done that, it'll take care of the backup on its own. Now let's go to the Finder window. How do we know what's being backed up and where we are in the backup process? Well, I just launched mine or kicked mine off about 10 minutes ago. So mine reads iCloud and iCloud Drive and it has this little pie chart here. That pie chart is telling me where it's at in the backup process. So it's only about an eighth of the way done at this point. When that pie chart fully completes, my iCloud Drive is fully available and ready for me online. What if you don't see this iCloud area here? No problem. We can show you how to fix that. So what you're going to do is make sure you click on the Finder window here. So I want to make sure that's selected. And when I hover up to the top, I want to see the Finder button here. When I click on Finder, 
and I go to my settings, often we'll come in under the general area, but we want to ma manipulate the sidebar here. When I go to the sidebar, if I turn off iCloud Drive desktop documents, you'll see they've gone away here. And if I turn them on, they show up in my finder window. So you want to make sure that those are showing up for you. Also, if there's some things that you don't necessarily want to see, you could turn them off here as well. I can close that settings window. And now you should be able to see as I do what's stored in my iCloud. It'll create a new documents area for me and back up all of the things that are in my documents. When I see the little cloud icon here, I know that it's backed up to the cloud and I'm good to go. And it's gonna churn away at that for a little while and back it up. I don't really need to do anything. In fact, I can close this out and in the background, my MacBook is going to do all of the backing up it needs to do to make sure my data is available wherever I wanna log in with this managed Apple ID. And that's how you back up your data on your Mac into iCloud Drive.